Little athleticism is tremendous. It's just the fact that the cheat to win scenario is coming to play so much now with these two. And I, I got to say, they've become mercenaries. They are You're seeing absolutely they're right attacking word. the Logans for the hit spot. They're doing the giant Pharaoh's dirty work now. They've become a little misguided. So tomorrow evening, we're not going to see Fala or Makua. You're not going to see either one. And that's because of what they've been doing to the Logan brothers. Absolutely, and the Logan brothers got to have a clear head over that one. Now they know they're going to get a fair shake. Absolutely. Samoans barred from the building tomorrow night. Folks, NWA on fire. The Augusta Armory, 7.30 tomorrow. The biggest show in NWA history in Maine. You don't want to miss it. But you know what, folks? We've got Apollo against the Giant Pharaoh. We've got the Logans against the Hit Squad with the Samoans banned from the arena. They can not be in the building, folks. And you know what, Tommy? We've got others on the card. Rick I tell you Fuller. what, tomorrow night's going to be one of the biggest events in, in, in Maine, in Maine wrestling, a Bob Wired match. Absolutely, Tommy. Not Bob for the Wired. squeamish, I tell you that right now. I mean, Cousin Larry, he likes Bob Wire, but you know what? NWA is going to accommodate him. He's going to get all the Bob Wire he wants. Absolutely. And let's see how this thing turns out. We're going to wrap the ring poles. We're going to wrap the ring, and we're going to extend the poles another couple feet in the air to make it 10 feet high. No escape, Tommy. Right. NWA on fire. Well, you know that old commercial, you can check in, but you ain't checking out. There he goes up to the top. Air Samoa. This is one big man, one big man coming off that middle rope. I'll tell you that right now. Playing up to the crowd again, Tommy. Once Nobody again, home. Just Nobody taking too home. much time. Too much time on the part of the Samoan there. I play the crowd, see what happens. Give him that extra five, six seconds. Here comes Apollo now. I think Apollo's taking all he can stand. I think he's ready to dish it out now big time. Apollo right now, the fans getting behind him. And Tommy, I think he woke a sleeping lying. Here oh, it comes sure right did. now. Apollo two blocks and a chop of his own. Big right hand to the top of the head. Whips the 350 pounder off the oh, road. Oh, cross right across his throat. Took him down like he was nothing. Like he was nothing. Look at the size of Apollo though. He's built like a, like a Greek statue. Whips him off the ropes. Backdrop, that's a lot to get over. He did it with ease, Tommy. 300 and something pounds handled like a bag of potatoes. Picks him up by his head. I think Apollo's a little more than angry right now. Oh, yeah, he's ready to get this done. Now. Whoa, what's this? Oh, he set him up for the Samoan drop. Reversal, oh, super kick to the ear. his head. Oh, my God. His face was contorted from that oh. blow. Oh, up, 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 and over. Apollo puts him right down. Puerto Rican slam. Two, three. That's it. Done. Just Great that count. fast, Tommy. That super kick was amazing. He might have fractured his skull, Tommy. Play. Look at that oh. kick. Oh my god, I haven't seen somebody get knocked out like that in a long time. Two and three, Tommy. That sets it up. Think you got what it takes to be king of the cage? How about king of the ring? All the tools you need are at world champion Ken Shamrock's Lion's Den, Middletown, Connecticut. Train like a savage with over 16,000 square feet of the latest state-of-the-art weight training machines. Mixed martial arts, seminars featuring world-class fighters and trainers, wrestling, boxing, and all you need to know is in one spot. Call 860-613-2394 or log on to lionsdenct.com. I invoke the spirits of Totakama, Ramses, and Joseph as they reign mercilessly across the great plains of Jesus, Alexandria, and Kaiser. May I reign across the NWA with blood on my fists and the remains of my opponents under my feet. I call upon the gods Ra, Osiris, and Horus for the power, brutality, and domination. Cast this upon my soul, and I invoke a curse. A curse upon the soul 
of the great Apollo. For I will chase you from the tip of the Nile to the end of the Hades River until you fall onto your knees and as you gasp your last breath, you look up at this immortal and the god Anubis, the god of death, will say unto you from the underworld that it was I, the ancient Egyptian god, king, giant, pharaoh, that was the cause of your doom. As I promised, Giant Farad, I'm going to destroy you! 